Hey guys, Jamie here again. So normally I don't really make updates that quickly, but um, over the weekend I went and bought a uh, 2002 Toyota Highlander that had seen some better days and it was a little bit wrecked. And uh, I bought it for the, uh, the rear subframe out of it and a few other parts for the buggy. And so during the course of the weekend I got that stuff delivered and I uh, started putting it together on the buggy and it's far from done yet but I'll show you guys the uh, changes so far. So how, here's it looking right now and uh, you can see the uh, one of the old front tires is leaning up against the new front tires that were on the back and uh, right now I've got the uh, Toyota Highlander uh, rear tires sitting on it so it's uh, like it rolls on them they're bolted on right now only loosely because it's far far from done um, but anyways uh, it's got I think it was in the center it has about what was it 18 inches of clearance now so it's sitting up a lot higher I like that that's what I wanted um, but yeah you can see uh, the front tires here they're pretty tiny they're uh, I think they say on them a 21 and what I've got now is a 26 and uh, a lot of this stuff still needs to be cleaned up and whatnot. It's far from being done or anything. I just want to kind of give you guys an update on this to show the progress over the weekend that I made on it. Um, but uh, it's, it's getting a nice stance in the front now. Um, move this over. Um, and I've got the mirrors on here. They're, they're, uh, I've got tape on them so I can see which side is which. But they're uh, nice chrome mirrors they still need to be cleaned up and uh, the brackets uh, painted and whatnot um, the uh, steering still working great like I said it wants to roll away right now because there's nothing holding it and now that it's got the bigger tires it rolls a lot easier um, the uh, disc brake for the rear I've got just hanging up here but the interesting thing see the cool thing about the Toyota Highlander here is, is that um, for one, it still needs tons of uh, grinding and cutting to remove uh, lots of stuff from it that I'm not using. But the cool things about it is uh, it already has all the uh, suspension geometry done. So I don't need to go and figure all that stuff out. I can just use what the factory, the, the uh, Toyota um, uh, you know, uh, engineers designed and use that because it's proven it works. Um, and I've got CV joints now, so now I can, uh, it's full independent, and all I gotta do is, uh, make a, uh, center section here, because I told them at the all record, I told them, I don't need the diff, so I'll give that back to you guys, and so it made the vehicle a little cheaper, because the diff is worth, like, 500 bucks or something like that, I forget what it's worth. Um, and I paid, like, 300 for the whole vehicle to get all this stuff, so in the end um so yeah it, it's uh it's got surface rust on it but it is rock hard it's solid it's just a little bit of surface from dirt being staying on it and whatnot over the course of years like it's 2002 so it's like 15 years old but still this being that new i can find parts for it so easily like the cv joints the uh i've got the spindles the hubs um i've got the I've got the full braking system on both of them, disc brakes, and I took the uh, calipers off just to make it easier when I was putting it all together, but I've got the calipers, and so I'm kind of thinking instead of using the disc brake, I might just use the uh, the calipers and uh, go back to the Toyota and grab the rest of the, uh, the braking system and have uh, brake lines made up to run it, because the, uh, the front... Uh, spindles actually they uh, I don't have the calipers for them but they do actually have uh, disc brakes on them and I can get the calipers for them um, the uh, see like stuff like this where it was mounted and whatnot this all needs to be cut off I, I wish I had um, access to the uh, plasma torch right now because then I just it's just like a pencil you just drag it along just zip off everything you want like so easy and versus I'm using it with a, a uh, angle grinder so the uh, the suspension I asked them I, I told them uh, like because they 
they pulled everything I wanted off of this and I said I was just like eh, yeah give me the suspension and drop it all to one piece just so that I could get so the wheels would stand up on their own I'm not going to use these because like I mean this just make it look like some Mad Max type thing and it'd be kind of weird um, especially with how far out they've got to stick so the tires can be flat it'd be way out and like this uh, post here is just strapped on here and making it so that the thing can stand up on its own and uh, can be rolled around versus having a uh, jack underneath here holding the rear end up and then not being able to move the thing. So I'll get some uh, King uh, coilovers or some Fox shocks, something rather like that and probably fairly long so go. I'll make a bracket right off the original mounting point and then come up and come quite a bit closer to the cage and uh, I'm thinking possibly to tuck them in to here or to have something up here that kind of mounts off the side to kind of hold on to them and if I do that then I may have to uh, make this more of a solid mount um, I'm not decided on that just yet um, yeah um, I'm gonna make a uh, like right now it's it's on there pretty solid but once I get a motor then I'll make a uh, a lot more uh, bracketry to it and make it more solid have a uh, crossbar going across and whatnot once I know where where I can put it versus how the motor is going to be sitting in there um, the other thing that I did was uh, made sure that I left room for a motor that's very important to do that so it, it's got tons of room for a motor whatnot so that's no problem there um, it rolls super easy like this and it uh, steers just fine the uh, these tires because I'm using the uh, the normal track width because I haven't changed that from the Highlander it's about two inches wider than the front track that I've got already so I may make uh, wheel spacers for the front to stick the front wheels out just a little bit further undecided with that just yet um, it seems to turn just fine and uh, I'm not gonna have any uh, see like in the past I've had problems where I put the motor too far back or I didn't leave enough room for the motor and then it ended up being too far back and I even had one buggy that used a uh, jack shaft to uh, get to the back axle there and like I mean uh, it works but it's horrible setting all that stuff up and then you've got four different sprockets on there and you've got two axles and like I mean it's just a mess in the end it seems like and it works but it's not fun and uh, it also made that buggy uh, quite uh, heavy in the rear so it, it kind of wanted like if you hit the power band in it it wanted the wheelie quite easily and I don't like that so now this is uh, going to be perfectly mid-engine um, and the weight's going to be pretty good set up and then me in here sitting right in the center with the motor behind me it's going to have very good weight distrib uh, distributor um, distribution sorry I cannot talk right now <laughs> and uh, I'm roughly uh, about 150 pounds so me in there and then the motor say three or 400 pounds for a motor in the back whatever I go with something big hopefully um, yeah it's gonna be it'll be sitting flat and shouldn't matter how much I uh, how much power I've got whatnot it shouldn't uh, come up off the ground unless I really try and so yeah like uh, that's pretty much it I'm yeah I'd like to get more parts hopefully to get suspension for the rear soon because like I mean I do not like the Mad Max look and do I can get on the front bumper here stand on it there we go Hopefully I don't slide. Yeah, jumping up and down here. See the uh, the back suspension. Even if I was on the back there, like the front is uh moving nicely with like whatever I am, like 150 pounds roughly, and it, it's it's not sinking right down, bombing out nothing. It's 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 moving, but it's only a nice amount. Um, the back, even if I was on the top here and it wasn't strapped in right now because it's not actually bolted down or anything like if it was actually properly in these coilovers would not move with me on it 
Uh, anyways, rambled on for long enough now about all this, and uh, it is so Mad Maxy looking in the back. I hate that with a suspension like that. But uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much the video. I'm gonna probably get rid of the front tires, and I'm gonna get um, a uh, street tire that'd be roughly the same size as those. Maybe slightly bigger, like an inch bigger, but probably the same size. Um, but that'll be later on. Like I'll probably run those for a little bit. Um, and the uh, back has got winter tires on there. That's what the Highlander had on it. Um, I'll just use those till they're worn out. They're a softer compound, so maybe they'll grip rocks nicely. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.